Welcome back, everybody. Starting to get some sunny breaks across Upper Michigan, mainly over the western UP, and some stubborn clouds over the central and east. Temperatures are starting to rise above the 40 degree mark over in Houghton and Hancock, especially. Starting to see those warm temperatures seep as the snow leaves us. Snow chances leaving us, but leaving us in the aftermath with a big heap, especially along the high terrain between Barragan and Marquette counties, where it's over a foot of snow on the ground. Specifically, Big Bay area, 34 inches of ground snow. Snow and Herman at 26 inches and there's some areas just over a foot around Champion and Marquette County and also Painesdale up in the Copper Country at 16. So the snow starting to melt now because temperatures are above freezing. Almanac data from National Weather Service Marquette 33 degrees well below the average and almost 30 below that record of 62 in 1997. Much warmer elsewhere in Upper Michigan. Our max temps today Silver City, Ontonagon County 48 degrees and Pelkey, Barriga County 40 47. Bunch of 40s out here. We're going to look at 50s and even potentially 60s next week. Tonight across the shoreline zone, we'll get a little icy and frosty. Light mix and freezing drizzle with a northeast wind gusting 20 miles per hour. Shoreline temperature lows around 30 degrees. For the interior of Upper Michigan, 20s for our lows, but some across the Wisconsin border could fall to those lower 20s and a little icy again and frosty with that light mix and freezing drizzle. We'll deal with some clouds and some drizzle to start our Friday, but then given way to some afternoon sunshine. For across the shorelines, high temperatures from the upper 30s to the mid 40s. And same for the interior with that temperature range. It'll be cooler along the northern areas of upper Michigan near Lake Superior, but much warmer once you're away from the big lake. North winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Gusts could get up to 20 across the shoreline. So we talked about preventing that snow melt and the flooding from it. You know, just another reminder to remove that snow and ice from your gutters, clean as much snow from the the roof as possible from the ground with a roof rake and away from the foundation and clear it from those storm drains as that snow melt starts to go down your street out there. Jet stream, we got the low pressure leaving us well to the east towards northern Atlantic Ocean and we're left with this high, upper level high to bring milder, drier weather to the weekend across upper Michigan but following right behind it, a low pressure system across the central plains and that system in particular will increase our clouds as we head into Monday here in upper Michigan and bring a mix to the western and southern portions of, up, of the region into early Monday, and then some scattered rain. Can't even rule out some thunderstorms as we get into Monday afternoon. And why am I stopping the loop here at 3.30 p.m.? The reason why is that partial eclipse. So about 3.11 p.m. Eastern time, there's going to be some clouds in the way. It's looking more and more that the probability is going to stay that way. Much like our climatology in the last 10 years or so, we got very little sunny days on April the 8th and a rain chance of 40%. That's climatology data. It's all about what weather we get for Monday and it's looking that way as we see your TV6 extended forecast but take solace in the fact that we're going to warm up to what we usually get around the spring. Get some 50s and 60s next Wednesday across the interior. I'm looking forward to it guys. I mean uh, you set this off now so we don't really have to worry about the flooding concerns in the yeah. May. We do have to worry about the fire danger still. Yes we do. We forget about that these last two days but yeah. we'll note it now. Thank so. you Noel. Well TV6 is Kevin 